Yeah, let's go answer the door. Who could it be? Big B. Snow. Come with me. What's going on? Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who that is. Some guy, some fable. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. About? Does not look happy. Uh oh. No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. Just a girl. Didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. I mean, yeah, I could have been more honest. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. I don't know. It's Seems to me that would be too obvious. Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So... Who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Tables are tough, but they can die. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh, sad. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed, for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Yeah, wondering. You know, with the woodsman is prime suspect, but would he have done it this way? What is? Something in her mouth. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. So the inventory is over here on the left. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp something with magic attached to it. Oh, I meant... Could it be an axe? Or 
were we just meant to think <sighs> it might have been an accident? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? I take we a look still around. have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. See, is there anything over here? Here? Yes. Nobody there. I think I missed that last time. Of course, nobody there. I guess it doesn't matter. Blood. Looks reasonably fresh. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? No signs that it's been here long. Let's pick it up, then. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. No, nope, but it means my inventory's getting bigger. What's in here? Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. doesn't have access to modern forensic technology. This is set in a time before DNA testing became prominent. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds that we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. She's I'll pretty by the book. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office.
Where are these guys? Oh, there's that one guy from what, earlier. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster! Who else is to blame if not you? Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's Not a lead. Necessarily. Nothing certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer yeah, amongst us. Yeah, tell me us. how to do my job. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Ah, uh, crap. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Yeah. Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Yeah, this office. He knows is... the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Kinda like we'll a target. At least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here for tonight. Hi, yes. And I'm just I'll pick this up later. You know